Hey guys, come get ready with me using a full face of only viral elf makeup product dupes. So let's get into the video. So for today's video, I wanted to focus on using only Viral Elf products. So I went shopping yesterday and I got a lot of stuff. I got a bunch of like just different products like Elf Blush. I got a highlighter, a concealer. I just got so many things to try out in this video. So... So let's get into the video and try out all these things. And I'm also going to be giving you guys like my personal opinion on a lot of these products, which is going to be honest. So yeah, even though a lot of these products are already so good because I've tried it for a while already, some of them are new. So we're going to see if I like it or not. I already put on my little clips, which are just pink because I literally love pink, but I'm going to like replace it because they're not really where they're supposed to be. And I hate when that happens. So yeah, now it's good. And I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Face Cream cream this cream is only $12 and this is the dupe for the Tatcha dewy skin cream which is $42 might as well just buy this this is fragrance free I've tried it before and honestly it feels like really good on your skin it just really depends on your skin type because I know people that have tried it out and they had like got a lot of pimples because of this I use different creams though I use like a variety this is a really good option though um and they do have the matching eye cream which I'm gonna show you guys in a second but this feels really good on your skin it's really like smooth and like it overall just feels really good and not oily like other face creams I would give this like a 9 out of 10 so far and if I do look over here, that's because I have my computer so I can see the prices and like just reference from that. Now we're gonna go try the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I know they have like a whole line which is like called Holy Hydration, but I only put a little bit under my eye. And also I'm gonna look over here because I have my other mirror. So I'm looking in a lot of directions, guys. But this feels really refreshing and this is only $10. The dupe for this, I am not sure which one it is but if you do know what it is let me know in the comments but it feels really good on your skin and it's really good to combine it with the other cream since it is like a set but it just feels like refreshing and like really cooling under your eyes now let's get into the actual makeup products that i'm really excited about so yeah we're gonna try out the elf halo glow liquid filter i've had this for a while and this is 14 dollars like literally for this huge thing 14 dollars and the dupe for this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation which is literally retailing for $49 guys just get this at this point and it is very very glowy mine is the shade fair um i've used it before not that many times if you are really looking for a glowy type makeup look try this i don't put that much on because it can honestly be a little too glowy it's not like my favorite it's just like you really have to be careful with how much you use because it can be really really glowy at the end so i'm gonna use my little beauty blender to blend this in and it's already wet so that's why it's pretty much this big but it's very very like easy to blend out like you don't have to like put that much pressure into like rubbing it around your face so far it's good um honestly yeah just don't put too much and this is like a perfect product for like the winter honestly like i feel like my skin is always really dry during the winter so you want to have more of like a glowy type of makeup look and this is perfect for that i feel like in the summer i kind of go for more for like a matte because my face is like more oily it just really depends also on the season for me when i'm going to use this but right now i've been using this lately because it is very dry outside i love the winter though don't get me wrong that's like one of my favorite seasons so now that's already blended in this is what it looks like and it looks very very glowy i love it i'm gonna go in with the elf concealer next this is only seven dollars and it is the elf hydrating camo concealer this is the fair rose shade honestly i think this was like the lightest shade they had so hopefully it's not too light this is a dupe for the tarte shape tape which is 14 dollars it is double the price and honestly i feel like the tart one is like the exact same size and hopefully honestly i think that's good i think like i put too much already but we're gonna see i think that's pretty much good so far i think the shade is fine um i did wash all my brushes so they're clean this is my concealer brush we're gonna see if this is gonna work out honestly i feel like it's so far really good okay so i'm gonna use like the end of it so i don't like put my foundation over it and it's really cool because the glow is still there even 
and then you put the concealer over it like you can still see like a little bit of like the matte part of the concealer but you can also see the glowy part which is good okay so this is like basically the final result for my concealer i don't know if i really really like it i feel like it's good the shade i feel like is a little too light though because as you can tell i already blended it in for a while and it's still white i would give this like a 7 out of 10 i feel like it's good it's just a little hard to blend in but the shade i feel like i got is pretty much fine for my skin tone um i probably could have gone a shade up but if not i probably still use it it's really good i haven't used the tart one so i really can't compare those two but for what I see from this one, and it's probably worth the $7 because it is going to make your makeup look way better. Now let's try the e.l.f. Camel Liquid Blush. This one I got recently and the color. I've been wanting to try it for so long. And this is the Pinky Promise shade. This is like the newest blush they came out with. Um, And look how pretty it is. This one is only $7 and the dupe for this is the Rare Beauty Blush, which retails for $42 dollars guys that is a huge difference 7 to 42 and honestly it's like pretty much the same size and i think i saw someone on tiktok comparing the shades and they're like literally the exact same so this is probably going to be worth it i'm going to put like a tiny dot because i did see a video on this and it is extremely pigmented so i think i'm going to go with that little dot and you only want to put a little bit because if not it's going to look crazy all right let's see if it's good this is so pigmented yup i think i like this one a lot this is literally like the exact same as Rare Beauty. Like, I love both of them though, but for the money, like, I feel like this is like the way to go. Look how pigmented this is. And I barely even put like a dot. I feel like this would last you for like over a year. I would give this so far a 10 out of 10. This is really good for the price, and look how pigmented this is um yeah. Now we're gonna go use the putty bronzer. This is the e.l.f. putty bronzer in the shade honey drip um this is only seven dollars and this is a dupe for the makeup by mario soft sculpt sculpt i don't know how to say it bronzer that is 32 dollars guys and i think it's like the same size we're gonna hope this one works um i haven't used this one before but i've had it for a while so we're gonna see if it's worth the hype so we're gonna use this um i don't know how much you really need for this product but I'm gonna put a little bit. I can see it from here. I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's like, it's there. It's there, guys. I just feel like maybe the shade was a little light. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on the other side. Um, Honestly, I don't use bronzer too much, but I would give it an 8 out of 10. So far, it's good. I don't really put it anywhere else besides my cheeks, to be honest. I know some people like bronzer up here or whatever. I think I'm gonna just keep it like that. For me, I personally would wear it for sure again. And it's probably worth the hype, to be honest, for seven dollars and having that much product it's gonna be worth it now let's get into the one i'm like most excited about guys because like it looks so pretty this one is the elf halo glow beauty wand highlighter like guys and this is in the shade rose quartz look how cute this is and we're gonna squeeze it i feel like it's gonna be really satisfying it just came out immediately. Now, this is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Highlighter Wand, which is $42, guys. Like, just buy this one. I'm gonna put a little bit up here and then here and here. I've been wanting to use this one for a while. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. Yeah, definitely worth the hype, guys. Go get yourself the e.l.f. Halo Glow Highlighter. Like, this honestly just blends in with your, like, blush perfectly because it's, like, so pink. Like, the color is just beautiful and i love pink so now we're gonna use the elf brow lift gel this is only six dollars and keep in mind i've used this one so much like i've had it for a while and look how much is still left and it is a dupe for the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze which is 23 it's not that much of a difference to be honest but it is the same size i already can tell you i'm gonna love this because i've used it before and i'm using the matching brush which is the elf lash and brow wand this is only two dollars and honestly and look how good my eyebrows are gonna turn out like and you can honestly put a little more like don't be shy for this like don't put too much either but it's gonna make it look so good and like laminated i love it for that reason and yeah that's pretty much it for the eyebrows and i would give this 10 out of 10 this is my final result i know they have like lip products and stuff and a bunch of like mascaras but i'm gonna use my own mascara because i don't have an elf one 
and I am done. This is my final makeup look I'm using e.l.f. products. They just have all the products that you really need for your makeup routine and it's not as expensive as other products so definitely try it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my video. I hope you enjoyed watching me try all these e.l.f. products and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!